I welcome you to this session of ISO 9001-2015, clause number 7.1.5, Monitoring and Measuring Resources. And under this clause, subclause 7.1.5.2, Measurement Traceability. So today we are going to talk about measurement traceability. So first of all, I'll read out the requirement to you as given in the standard. When measurement traceability is a requirement or is considered by the organization to be an essential part of providing confidence in the validity of measurement results, measuring equipment shall be a calibrated or verified or both at specified intervals or prior to use against measurement standards traceable to international or national measurement standards. When no such standards exist, the basis used for calibration or verification shall be retained as documented information. B. Identified in order to determine their status. C safeguarded from the adjustments, damages or deterioration that would invalidate the uh, calibration status and subsequent measurement results. Last para, the organization shall determine if the validity of previous measurement results has been adversely affected when measuring equipment is found to be unfit for its intended purpose and shall take appropriate action as necessary. So that's all the, in this requirement and let us discuss this in more detail. See when measurement traceability is a requirement uh, for certain measurements, measurement traceability is a requirement. Uh, normally the auditors will insist uh, measurement traceability in all cases. But whenever it is a requirement or considered by the organization to be essential part of providing confidence. See measurement traceability means we are calibrating the instrument with respect to a certain measuring instrument which is duly calibrated with respect to another national or international standard. So that national or standard, international standard uh, is, is, uh, should be traceable. That means it should have mention and uh, whatever instrument has been used to calibrate our instrument with, that particular instrument's calibration certificate should also be available so that we are able to establish the traceability of uh, calibration. So traceability is a requirement because it confirms that the calibration has been done in a valid manner with respect to some standard uh, which is linked to national or international standard. So the requirement further says that calibrated it has to be calibrated or verified. Calibration means uh, checking it with respect to another uh, measuring device which is duly calibrated with respect to a national or international standard and verification means wherever calibration is not uh, required or not necessary we verify whether the measuring instrument is working in a correct manner or not. So that is verification. So at specified intervals we are supposed to do it. That means we are supposed to maintain a record what our, uh, whatever are our measuring instruments, what is their identification number, on which particular date they were calibrated, when is the next calibration due and uh, which is the calibration agency which was used last time. So like that this kind of record will enable us to control the calibration status. It has to be done against the uh, measurement standards which are traceable to the international or national measurement standards. And when no such standards exist, 
then the basis used for calibration or verification it has to be it shall be retained as documented information that means we are supposed to document how we have carried out the calibration because there is no uh, linkage available so what has been the method for calibrating our instrument so we have to take care and maintain records accordingly and uh, all our measuring instruments are supposed to be identified so that identified along with the date of calibration so that we are able to uh, check which is the instrument and uh, from the calibration control register we can link it and see what is the status of that particular instrument so we should be able to able to see the status of the calibration of the instrument with respect to the calibration carried out earlier and the records maintained by us and now c says safeguarded from adjustments that means our calibration calibrated instruments have got to be kept in safe custody so that nobody you know uh uses them with uh, no unauthorized person has uh, accessibility to these uh, measuring devices and there is no damage done to them and no deterioration in their working and uh, if there is any deterioration or any damage then it will invalidate the calibration whatever calibration we will do that is uh, that will become invalidated so in in such cases wherever we find that a particular instrument is found to be invalid then we are supposed to carry out whatever previous measurements we had taken they have to be carried out those measurements have to be done again to verify whether they are within the specified limit and uh, as per the calibrated instrument whether they are okay or not so we are supposed to carry it out carry out the calibration and uh, uh, re -cal re uh, measure and maintain the measurement results and uh, verify that they are okay the organization shall determine if the validity of the previous measurement results has been adversely affected when measuring equipment is found to be unfit for its intended purpose and shall take appropriate action as necessary so as discussed with you just now we are supposed to be taking appropriate action whenever the calibration status is found to be disturbed or not maintained because of somebody using it in an unauthorized manner or incorrect manner so that's all in this requirement and um, i hope you have understood the total requirement and if there is anything which is not clear to you please write down your comment below this video and i will answer to your query and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon so that the next video will reach you without any delay and if you like my videos please give me a thumbs up give me a like and also share my videos with your friends and colleagues if you do so i'll feel very happy thank you very much and we meet again on next sunday bye see you